I need to I need to access the back, the low bed. But I heard lions. I'm sweating, I'm desisting, I'm tired. There is no signal. Um, Just changed my car insurance. This is the old one for Zambia, and I just put. And this is the new one. Today, I'm leaving the South Longwa National Park to try a track into the wild, all the way up to the North Longwa National Park. A quick stop at the nearest village, Kakwumbi, so I can buy enough food and other things that I absolutely need for the next days to come. I need to go to different shops every time because one doesn't have all the things I'm looking for. And better to get them now because the drive that is waiting for me is going to be a very long and challenging one from what I heard. So let's try to find all I need now. to come here in this place to buy fruit vegetables and uh, clothes look what she did for me this is so beautiful I'm all good and I could find most of the things I was looking for Hello. and it looks like the drive has started already and I really hope it's going to be okay The owner of Wildlife Camp in South Luangwa actually warned me about this route to the North Luangwa. That I shouldn't go alone with my car since Rafiki doesn't have a winch. Okay, okay, okay. I can do it. But I can do it with my feet. Seriously? No, serious? Allez mon Rafik, allez mon Rafik, allez mon Rafik. Putain, t'es la meilleure des voitures de toutes les voitures du monde. Oh putain. Ok. Ah allez, c'est parti. Rafiki, Rafiki, s'il te plaît. S'il te plaît. Ça 
j'adore ma voiture. Putain, la teuté du pont, frère. La teuté du pont. Ok. Qui va piano va ça, non Qui va ça, non La montagne, ok. Another park, uh, another game reserve, because um, where I want to go, I need to cross a very small game reserve. Small, but still like an hour and a half to you know to cross it. Um, this is so, this is really cool. <laughs> We can do it, we can do it, Rafik. Rafik, we can do it. Yes, 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 Rafiki, yes! New challenge now. Uh, it's deep, 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 deep. Hey! Most overlanders drive from the South Longua to Malawi directly and through the Zambian town called Chipata. The road is smooth, tarred and quite quick to cross into the neighboring country. But obviously, I didn't want to drive that. I wanted to give a try to that track instead and to get a chance to witness this kind of cuteness. I have to drive through so many villages and a few game reserves too. The road is so beautiful and it looks like the people are happy to see a foreigner around here. Hey! Hello! <laughs> I 
have no GPS. I have no GPS, nothing. Um, there is no signal since four hours, and um, it's very hard to, you know, uh, to know where I am. I've got some coordinates, but it just, uh, yeah, there is absolutely no signal and so many trucks everywhere. So I try to trust my, I try to trust my, to trust my instinct and my gut and um, hopefully it's going to be okay. But it's a very good exercise to, to learn, you know, how to, you know, locate where you are without any technology. But it's very stressful. <laughs> Yes, I can do it. Alors, par contre, il y a des doucements. Oh, putain, c'est joli. Hein. Allez, 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 Rafik, allez, allez, allez. Yes, ma voiture. Normally, uh, tourists when they go to South Langua, where I was, um, they or they come from Malawi, which is next door, a few kilometers away, or they uh, from Lusaka, so going to Malawi. So, you know, uh, but not many tourists apparently uh, do, you know, South Langua to North Langua, the road, uh, the road, the track. <laughs> I'm driving now. Okay, so that's a very beautiful track. I like it, <laughs> as you can hear. Um, no need to put some music. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I can't wait to be in North Langua and just to let you know my thoughts about this uh, road between South Langua and North Langua. But so far, so good. It's very long, but uh, it's uh, beautiful. So cute, but I don't want to go firm between them because they can think they can feel threatened, so I don't want that.
Where is the school? No, I listen to him because him he, he tell me the truth. I listen to him only. Where is the school? This is a house. Ah, this is a one house. Wow, the, this one is the uh, biggest one. Oh, your school is there, 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 there. Oh, there. Ah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't go to school. Huh? <laughs> I'm too old. <huh? laughs> But you all go to school. <laughs> I have to stop when I see these kids playing football along the road. This moment is so precious to me. I don't know for them, but we are having such a beautiful moment together. Football is a beautiful language that we can understand in this kind of situation. No need to speak too much, nor to pretend. We play, we throw the homemade ball to one another and we laugh. I love this language and I love to practice it here in Africa. Look, look, look. Putain, mais c'est une blagounette. Oh, putain, c'est une blague. So I have the fire that way, and here this is the. I think it, it was a bridge. Putain, super. I can go. Okay, graphic. Allez mon bébé, allez mon Rafiki, allez mon Rafiki, allez mon Rafiki, allez mon Rafiki, s'il te plaît, vas-y mon Rafiki, vas-y mon Rafiki, yes Enfin une ville, euh, je sais pas comment on dit. Hello
to access the back, the low bed, but I heard lions. <laughs> I'm sweating, I'm disgusting, I'm tired. <sighs> there is no signal and <sighs> I'm just, I'm just tired. Today is a big, big joke. It's, um, oh gosh. <laughs> My parents would kill me um, again. <laughs> I need to access. I'm equipped to get to the low bed, but just took off my shirt <laughs> to change, and I actually washed uh, very quickly underneath my arms. <laughs> I feel like a... I'm so tired. Mm. So for the new people following me, I used to sleep here in the cab most of the time during the first part of the trip because I was traveling during winter time in Europe and Turkey. So sometimes I had like minus 15 degrees. And so in the middle of the night, I decided to switch and to sleep into the cab or I sometimes just decided to sleep into the cab because it was way too cold or it was not very practical or wolves were roaming around and, and for many reasons I decided to sleep into the cab, uh, mainly because it was cold. And uh, for tonight it's different, it's just because like, you know, I had this issue with the load bed. So I just want to have a look at the load bed during daylight. Um, so yeah, I don't want to risk it and I, I think it's better to sleep here. Also, I'm very, very tired. I drove more than nine hours straight. Um, I'm exhausted. I, it's a very long drive because like there is nothing on the way. Like I couldn't, also I follow my, you need to understand that I follow my instinct and gut a lot. And so when I don't feel like you know, sleeping on the way and also because there is nothing like, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not very convenient. 
um, on you know this um, this road on this track I was driving today. So yeah, I just decided to um, wait until you know the um, the park, and I couldn't reach the park because the pontoon the the boat is closed. I can't cross the river with the with the car, so I need to wait for tomorrow morning. And also, I have no signal. So when I have no signal, I play you know these. Uh, these games, like, I don't know if you can see, 